Welcome to the winner match in the fastest chaos between two very, very strong deathmatch players. And also very strong in other game modes. Brew in the green as the Magyars for game one and Nili in the red as the Koreans. Mr. Keller is here with me hey again, yo. which makes me very happy. What do you think about the map and matchup here? I think the matchup is pretty equal. It depends a lot on who's microing better. Um, like there's Ohalp from Koreans can can be really strong, but the Mega Hassa CA can also be really strong. We have a few choke points here, so that's really good for Koreans. But if Brew gets this forward castle up, actually the base from Nili is pretty open. Yeah, so... the wood end to the right might still help him, but. Yeah, I guess if he bits forward more, then there's multiple angles, but... Yeah. Hmm. Do we want to see Onager cutting here by the Magyars, maybe? Uh, I... I, mm, I don't think the Korean needs to eco that much. He just needs a bit of wood and a bit of gold. And I don't think we can <laughs> stop that with raids, so I don't think raids should be a priority here. Yeah, but you mean if he gets that position, then we can use, uh, like, Brew could use mobility to, like, snap yeah. the SO with Mega so, Yeah, probably yeah, around yeah. those two tiny woodlands should be possible. Yeah, he is trying to rush, though. A lot of Cavatures in the back of Nili. Maybe Onager those two woodlands, even. Seven villager kills. Brew? Doesn't yeah, look really that bad, strong. right? It's really strong start by Brew. Yeah, and build up also really clean, so I think we just didn't see the best Brew in his last set. I think he probably just wasn't trying that hard. Yeah, Honestly, like... he didn't need to, but here he does need to, I think. He is. Yeah. Only barracks opening for, for Nili, so Kavacha have a lot of opportunity, opportunities to kill. But 100 Kavachas? Uh, oh, never mind, he's Magyas. I don't know why I thought he was Koreans. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's early in the day. <laughs> Not that early. Yeah, but <laughs> forecasting, like I'm, I like. Yeah, that's true. It's during um, me trying to write my dissertation. It's not early in sense of I got up, but it's in sense of I'm in work mode and not in AOE mode. I also really like that who didn't. Ah, oh, he did a market. Okay, never mind. I hope he didn't sell food. He uh, sold food. Five hundred uh, only. Because he doesn't actually need that much gold in this matchup. He just needs like 40 cavachers all the time. Like 80 is probably even a bit much. Because they yeah. just get flattened. Mm. Because they bunch up so much. And then you just need a million Mega Hassa. So you need all the food you, food you can get. But really good map control for, for Brew. No villagers for Nili. Yeah, two forward castle here. I think that's also a hill, right? Looks a bit yep. like flat elevation, but I think it's a hill. So yeah, Brew has a hill to sit on there with Magyas, um, which makes the cover the siege runner shot a bit that deadly. Ah, but I mean, with two castles to the left from Nili, I really like those that that kind of kill the mobility aspect of it because he has to push like this angle. Yeah, Nili could just, instead of pushing from under the hill, he could try to maneuver and push the right hill from the left hill, right? It's like two hills with uh, a belly in between. I don't think that's possible. Yeah. Just because then you have like a longer route for your onagers to take and that's just possibilities for the Mega Hasa to come in and snipe. Yeah, uh, true. Drew is pressuring the right side. Trebuchet some halberdiers on them. Does take one structure out there. Probably get another cast less the halberdiers do clean get cleaned up. Onagers for the Magyars themselves. Trying to have something there. Paladins even going in, but Magyars are around. And Blue taking really nice fights. 100 to yep. 40 population. Yeah, I think Nili here needed to wait a bit more until he does his own. Um traps and I would have really liked uh, war wagons from him here because you just need some f some something to protect your halps from the CA if you lose all your halps you're gonna just die but if you can protect the halps with some war wagons then it's fine all the castles go down 
but now it's an open field, which isn't too shabby for the Magus. Lindy lost two castles there on the right, Lo losing both hill castles as well, constructing another one. How's this eco development looking? I don't see a single farm yet. A lot of villages on gold, but 8k food remaining for our Magia. Is, is Keller's sound right? I was a bit worried he's like not as much louder as the game sound. Uh, please tell me. Mm. I don't like that Nili, uh, that Brew only has two castles at this base. Like he needs at least four, in my op my opinion, because you just need that many Mega Hasser. Um, he has still seven k food in the bank. That should be like zero right now. Yeah, it's preparing to make the castles forward to delay Nili. I think making another one forward there. Has stone for two more and is killing. Sneakily, a castle there on the left. No sweep over there by Nili, as that would be risky for the SO to be alone. But that one on a job. What a twist! This micro map rule! He takes out five sea chargers, Korean sea chargers with one on a job. Sick. Was that sick? Can I have casting? That was me hype I tried, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to work on that if I want to, to cast with you more again. Um, yeah, it's still like a few cavages in the back as well for, for Brew here. Oh wow, yeah, that's um, really nice today. 47 villagers, so Nilly still nowhere close where he wants to be. 93 for Brew, needs to develop farm eco soonish, but he's taking good engagements and holding back the Koreans in their base. I'm the hype cast. yeah, obviously. I mean, the cast to do with Keller works fine because he's like only saying analytics and I'm the hype cast. Yeah. Yeah, the, actually those cavages in the back did a lot, a lot of damage against Lily here because he has no wood left and they camped like one wood TC and the other didn't even go up. Hey, wait. Wasn't it cavages in the back a second ago? How is it paladins now? Did they transform? I guess he said it more. Uh, he said it more. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like I looked there, it was a few cameras, just they were dying. And then I looked again, and there were three paladins, which was a bad part. Yeah, Nili's resources are looking really bad, but he also has way too many villages in the queue right now. He needs more halberdiers. Um, and he just needs to mass right now. Yeah, but Nili's I out of food. And calls it. Be too late. Yeah. How does he have 3k food now all of a sudden? He didn't have anything because he, had, uh, he did an otter... Um... Ah, villagers. Otter okay. boom, yeah. Well, I mean, it isn't really one yet if he only makes it to 76 villagers. But yeah, he could have made house with that and maybe survive a bit. But really strong by Brew. I mean, it was not only that great micro moment with that Onager taking out 5SO, but uh, like always stuff swarming the Koreans here. And uh, yeah, I, I said I liked the matchup for Magus. Yeah, and, and Brew played it pretty perfectly here. Um, Nili maybe a bit impatient, did his own traps, didn't really mess, lost a lot of halberdiers. But it's really hard to play if you are down that many villagers. Uh, maybe needed ranges of his own to kind of protect his villagers. With the like, Gabalist or potential yeah. Kevatlas. Yeah, and KD, we'll actually... amazing for Brew. 360 to 275. And we might actually get this with the next game on time because Nilly called his re. Oh, on which map could he call his re? Uh, Spanish against Goths with uh, walls. Um, what? Spanish with walls? Spanish versus. Spanish uh, versus Goths. And both at walls, but I don't. I don't really like the re there, because how do you even win that matchup? Uh, yeah, Spanish is really bad. Uh, no. Fifty-five seconds. I mean, I guess you can try a uh, Haskal all in. That works sometimes, like Haskell Halberdier, obviously. 
because husk cards also do a lot of bonus damage against kongs and against hand cannons so if you ever get like a good push going and he needs and he can't go back further then maybe they even work so where were you 55 seconds i'm at three seconds okay I'll do the introductions and then tell you just uh, go when I'm at 55 and you go on the fly. Okay. Is that fine? Yep. Yeah. Welcome to game number two, Nilly against Blue. Two TC start and a market for both. Wonder he will use a two TC start. Should also be fantastic for the Spanish in this matchup. Cause God's probably want to call early. This was the map that Nilly called uh, got with his re. So... I feel him, and that is, I think, terrible for the gods. Uh, both players started with trade cards, trade trading already. 55 go! Almost missed it. I hope you catched it. And a new prediction is live as well. Hella's doing everything today. MVP. Getting Nilly to play good. <laughs> Casting, <laughs> doing predictions, yeah. Yeah, Kella OP. And Flufen, thank you for the sub. Yeah, Keller, what do you think about the start here? Blue's heavily housed. What happened there? Mm, building our houses, I guess. Yeah. Only build one house at the start. And then second. Maybe it was You build faster and get housed. I think he was worried about the rush too much and thought about buildings too much. I don't know, Blue. Maybe showing some. Uh, Rustin is here in game two after a very clean game one, and thanks a lot, Fluten, for the 39 months in Saint Support Street. Thank you so much. And uh, three that, casts are uh, coming up. And Go with Brew being housed so much, this could actually be turn really quickly for for Nilly because like his fast production against against like 50 pop, that that snowballs really quickly. Uh, Blue practically can't fight for the next five minutes, I think. And yeah, also not fine. adding hand cannons. I feel like this is a matchup where you probably want to add some ranges for hand cannons um, behind. I well. think with this map earlier than Kongs, I wouldn't do it, but maybe you should, because like this isn't really a super aggressive map. Usually you have a bit of time, so yeah. getting to Kongs is is. is probably ideal yeah and nearly doesn't know that uh, Blue was that house right He's, he isn't yeah. using the window that he got um i think he still has a window like his army right now is stronger than than bruce yeah uh, now fighting the champions only though i have it is not really engaging the paladins but maybe taking the hill is the army stronger yeah has more hp even and if he breaks the fighting line the kongs will have to go back those Trade cards in danger. I think both started with two trade cards, so <laughs> they are just using them to trade with the middle market on this hyper random map. As Bruce seems to be stabilizing, wins that fight even with reinforcements coming in or maybe retreating off the hill. Now, who won the retreat, but it's developing to be an even game, and that is great news for the Spanish player. Yep. Not like I think way too many halberdiers here for Nilly. He needs mainly Huskals. Huskals mm. even, even though there's yeah, Huskals are fine against champions. A gunpowder behind is a bit of an issue. Scorpions now coming in for Nilly. There's just so and so much that boss can do though, if they don't have like a good start. Paladins now also jumping on to the scorpions and looks like a lot of control and Lily's traps are all pathing into the conquistadors. I think he lost like five traps by now to Kongs. Yeah, and I think that's the same mistake as last game, like way too early traps. What is he hoping to achieve here? Yeah, I probably thought he had that big army and could push the base quickly. I understand the thinking of it in this matchup, at least. Fast eco development from both. I like and it. Paladins uh, looping around for Brew, looking to go for some early raids. And we come in, Mr. Coming. Also, thanks, Terz, for the late follow. You weren't chat so much.
Oh, fights under that castle. He could have happened indeed looking nice for both. Nelly also now going for some Huskal raids. Farm Eco, not really where it's raiding though, just passing through the barracks, but very unprotected in the back, and the Huskals have an easy time. Uh, not really like an easy time against castles. Oh, no, but why they're turning around into the bombs. No, now some going to find the very unprotected economy there, Spanish villagers though. Um, should make the raid a little bit less effective. Since all the army back for Bru could give nearly a window to push in the middle. Massive yep. uh, castle work. And traps going forward here for Nilly. Um, Is I that really enough like meat shield though? On the right for, for Nilly as well. Uh, but oh, I yeah. don't like 18 scorpions. I really don't like 18 scorpions. I would have liked maybe five but not really as well like just go on it Jules. yeah would be better against the kongs and against opponents on it just through once again with one onager making it work beautifully this time taking out scorpions obviously a bit easier than korean siege onagers but um yeah blue and one onager deadly combination yeah and that's where the like this fight is the other way around if nidhi has his 40 huskals as he ascended the raid yeah, he, uh, he sent them, um, he also sent the whole Kongs back by that, right? And then tried to take a fight, but his army just didn't have enough meat shield really for the Scorps to be effective or to snipe the one on a draw and hold the Kongs back. Which is due to sending in too many Huskals, probably. Still has a raid there. Yeah, yeah, I, I like it. Like the, the, the small base from him on the right side is really good. He needs to try to to make um, this as wild as possible. So he can somehow maybe jump on the conquistadors. It's a bit weird for Nili, right? Because in the training you played with him, you got a lot of water maps and now he didn't get water for once yet. Yeah. And I think Nili on water adds an extra 25% to his gameplay. Yep, yeah, but that's a map, right? Um, that's but <laughs> probably also on Nili's only training uh, training matches, so you may be overestimated how much water there is usually. Yeah. I said in his chat that he's getting an insane amount of water out. <laughs> I didn't get it through one of my ball tournaments. Um, yeah, and it's looking very good for Bruno, right? It's kind of about converging to training matches and everything. Who has the big army lead is going on to Nili's face. That base on the right side is nice, doing some trouble, but it isn't enough. Very tough. Still my job here as well for Nili. And Bruno takes the 2-0. Oh boy. Bruno looking strong. My prediction already out of the window. Yeah, my, mine is still alive. Uh, reverse seat Nili, eh? Um, Root really is really playing strong, strong here. Um, and Nili might be a bit taken aback with no water at all. But also water against Spanish wouldn't have been better, to be honest. So No, <laughs> no water. Mm. Ah, Gosa is okay in water, but yeah, you don't Gosa want to really Spanish good in water. water. Yeah. 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 Magias, they're also late pick actually winning against Koreans. The first two picks by nearly Bohemians and Malians. The Bohemians pick surprising me a bit actually now that I look at it. Um, yeah. We have some decent matchups really like there them. though on the left side. I, I hate them, that's why I... And we have Bohemians for the next one. And now we get a wallet. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, if it's a water, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Nili doesn't want water maps, is what he's playing here, right? Bengali should have the better water. I don't, actually don't know how good Bengali water is, but I would assume it's way better. Bohemian's water is pretty damn bad. Pause at 21 seconds. What? Yeah, now one capture is low, this time always fast, I think. Yeah, but this yeah, is. Yeah, I'm still at 11. <laughs> Oh boy, decent. there's water, no! <laughs> but still a decent map, like, there, there is, like, enough space on the, like, where you can cross. 
that you can destroy everything with Haufnitze and also no heavy demo for Bengalis. So water is pretty even. I'm at 22 seconds as well. Three, yeah. two, one. Let's go. Nearly has the Bohemians to the north. Placing dogs right away and through doing the same with the Bengalis archery range start. Oh. I mean, there's no rush coming. Coming. So no, we started with the saboteur. <laughs> we started with the saboteur. I want to see the saboteurs. Oh my god, it could kill the castle. It could kill Nili's castle. Saboteurs are really strong. He's not going for the castle. What's happening to the other saboteur? Oh, I missed it. No, oh, I missed both, obviously. <laughs> Three villagers died for Nili. So that saboteur was. Wow. Good. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, Didn't so we first have a big range. I think he could have just taken out the castle. Probably been better. Um, but uh, it's something you could defend with Elia just better than with anything else, I guess. So that worked out. Crocodile is getting into the mix too, but not really doing that much damage to Elia just. Well, they're catching the shots for the heavy dudes. Damage. Ships coming out. Galleon start for Brew for Nili as well. So both not getting heavy demos and don't want to try. Yeah, water is pretty far here. You have to go all the way around. So I, I don't mind the Galleon start here. No. They Little feel pond like there how in the middle. Plays it again. Like the, the Archer Rage start instantly adapted to the map and to the starting unit. Yeah, how good are Elia Archers against like half it's a hype? They are okay against normal bombard cannons. Elephant Archers are usually pretty good at them, at least in RM. And to be honest, I haven't. If seen it's, it's them enough halberdiers, they can maybe swarm them, right? And we have wagons. I also like the wagon edition here by Lily a lot. Because yeah, wagons like can tank the fire, save the halberdiers, and then you just surround the Elia Archers with your head. And I think they should melt then. Yeah, I receive less Being... bonus damage for Bengalis, but... Um, wagons are... strong right now. They were like the worst unit in the game for the past, but they got an update and I actually think they're decent now. Yeah, I, I think they have always had utility in DM as opposed to you against cave archers, or against elephant archers in this case. And they looked really strong, I'll, like, I didn't see them much, since the update, but they, they looked very much improved, yeah. Oh, trap going forward for Brew this time. Ah, no, that's why I want to say for Nilly again, but it's actually Brew wasting traps this game. And Brew with a lot of ships on the right. Um, hmm, bit annoying match, and therefore Nilly, that is, uh, ships can't pass both sides. That's really bad, yeah. But the, the wagons actually destroy everything on water right now. Are they good against ships? Yeah, I guess they have good pierce armor. I, I guess. <laughs> uh, but he needs way more halps right now. Where are his halps? Did he lose Only all of four barracks. Ah, that's maybe the, the issue. Yeah, he can just go back though. Yeah, now demos would be useful here. The Hoffnitze behind are also doing good damage. Needs to send these ships around, but there's also castles coming up for Brew. Another castle for Nili. Now badly Lily is being mixed in. Brew noticed not too many helps around, so probably want something against the Wagons and Gurke is saying, Welcome in by the way. Um, and he's out of wood. Yeah, he is out of wood, but yeah, actually, actually, completely out of wood. No, no, no buts. Wagons cost a lot of wood. Half also cost yeah. a lot of wood. Helps also ships costing cost some a wood. Lot of wood. Ships, yeah. You always want quick woody co on these maps with ships. Like, how are the wagons trading against the elephants? It's pretty much one-on-one -on -one wagons elephants right now. Yeah, they're destroying, right? I 
only see that elephants, but that also could be the DPS from the Haufen that's behind. That makes a difference here. Yeah, ships are helping out. Nelly's fleet now looping around to trap Bruce's fleet a bit, maybe, but Bruce heavily going in. Lots of elephant archers there as well. It's I says Nelly needs monks. Trap Strizza out. Where the Haufnitzer? Uh, see one moving behind. It says 12 Haufnitzer on the field. Yeah, behind the castles. Just hiding and behind the castles oh, and the wagons, trapped. so if they can take out the traps. Trapped at the top. Three are trapped at the top. Oh boy. Oh no, that house layout. Well, Trap Bomber Hills can take out castles, as you can see on my shorts. Nearly repairing frantically. Elephant Archer's trying to dive the Bombard cannons. Bombard cannons going behind the castles. No. Hoosite wagons there to like delay the shots, but the Elephant Archers are dying and Nearly is. Ah, the Wild Elephant's now an issue, right? They are the yeah, Bell Elephants. No hell that he is. Needed the father of us or Woody here and probably made too many of those wagons. And they look cool when they shoot from the side. Uh, elephant even now going on to the Haufnitzer. Rue actually out of gold now, but his eco is completely set up as well, so. Looking strong for him. Also, raiding ships at the back here for Rue. Yeah, uh, raiding to the left as well. Going over the top there where fire ships won't do too much there. But yeah, Ooh, light calf out of nowhere. Who doing a really good job with these back raids. Yep. And Nilly just needs to mass one big army here and try to just force it through the middle. But his eco isn't really set up for that right now. Still only, uh, only 30 on, on wood. While he just needs wood for uh, with his ego, everything else is completely irrelevant right now. Uh, way too much on gold at the front here. Yeah. Is that the only gold though? No, there's the gold in the back, but that's being raided. So I guess that's why there's so much on that. Um, try to go for more ships on the left. He's slowly clearing those ships. Cannon ships now as well, cannon galleons from the right on the castle, and there comes another army by Brew. Oh boy. Yeah, really not the map you want with Bohemians. I actually don't like. Uh, I think. That's, that's one choke point in the middle, that's actually good for them overall, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, also, like his. Like he can cross, but like those two, like little choke points where Brew has to move through. Those are good for, for Bohemians. Yeah, because then no demos can, like, yeah. Mm. But it's also really annoying for its ships. Maybe it has pros and cons. Habit is now pushing that back. Nearly Finally, still five. nearly getting Habit is out. Yeah, if he just. Uh, if he had. Like 40 hell videos all the time. This would look so different right now. But he is pushing back, stabilizing a bit. 50 on on what now? Uh, mm, comeback is possible here, I think. Yeah, a bit worried. Nearly. Good resign there. I think he should play on. Yeah. The elephants are dying. I don't think Nili would. Resign, yeah. looking good for Bruno. 50 on food, so he can keep up the production yeah, of his two elephant type units. So much more gold than Lily. Yeah, there's a late game win con, right? Bohemians, at least on land, don't need any gold. Besides, for a few half nets, a relic count 2 2 3 in favor of Bruce. So I guess there was one in the middle and two at Bruce at British Island. And right now, there's not like an army for Bruce. The land army. He, has a of, like, he is completely controlling water. As expected, right? He has the better water set, yeah. Yeah. So if if Nilly gets a big land army push right now, 
I think the water from Brew also dies to, to Haufnitze. No, yeah, there is a lot of shallow stuff where Brew can maybe stop the push. But Nelly could take over the middle and uh, wood control. I had to say wood control at least once in the past. Yeah, that meme is no 20, 21 mirror sifts. Yeah, it is a bit. Wood control doesn't matter as much anymore. Which is like good for the games at the tournament. It's really <laughs> good for the games at the tournament. <laughs> the wood control doesn't matter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the big benefits, I think, that that is making like a big, bigger viewer attraction when it comes to non risks. Yep. But you already acquired your new meme, so all good, right? Ah, uh, that meme is probably as old as the other one. Just only in the German community. Yeah, it didn't really apply to DM. Did I have any admin wins in DM? No, I don't I remember a DM remember. admin win from you. Uh, maybe I should yeah. start. I think in DM you're just uh, winning by playing. Now only just needs a food equal and he is all set up for... ...for a long late game that he can win. Uh, chat is still saying it's looking rough for Nili, but I think Nili is coming back right now. 200 pop for both. And good longevity on the army for the Bohemians. Um, Bengali's kind of, when they're out of gold, out of game. Yep. No trash at all. And Bohemians, even if they're out of gold, just sell your life away. And you can buy three Haufnitz and that's all you need. But, health protection again, a big problem for Nili. Only 9 on food, no food in the bag, and he will be pushed back now because, again, no health protection. Yeah, it's, he has only 7 on food. The problem is, right, his whole base is getting cannoned down. Through with the full shoreline control in Nili's bag, making doing that really nicely, denying uh, Nili all the spots for Fudiko, because all the Fudiko is on the water and like, all the space is controlled by water, so he can't place farms anywhere. That is true, yeah. Try to base farms in the middle, but now getting pushed back there because it's so out of food. Oh, maybe needs to buy food, but it's looking super rough with, like, the impossibility to set up farms here. As Bru is using his water control really, really well. I mean, he has kind of everywhere ships denying something that can again, also reaching that gold. Um, yeah, and if he deletes his, his uh, fire ships, he only has 14 pop on water, and that's totally fine. Because that pop will die, so you do, don't need as much villagers, and you're also Bengali, so you also have less villagers. Oh, yeah. You ha have more villagers, I mean. Nili is uh, not missing health upgrades, but he's missing bonus damage. His stat is getting negated by Bruce's uh, bonus. That's why they look a bit weaker. So. But now some helps are out again. Nili is stabilizing in this spot. He did a good job of saving his half It looked impossible to save them, but he still has 11 alive. I mean, it's also making more, right? Um, easy to make unit when you don't have um, food, but everything yeah, else. Yeah, maybe it would have been a possibility for him to do early back dogs or back dog right now to try to get water back because his if his eco ever is, is smooth, he wins this this game. The Galis probably have ship right and Bohemians don't, right? I have no idea. But I think you can. They're both have so at least. Uh, the Galis are water sips, the Bohemians are not water sips. <laughs> it's just fire heads. I don't think we're Galis when they said it intended as a water sips. So. 
Uh, there's good health and shot on the elephant archers. Is that enough? Help me cheat though. Seven helps only left and blue pushing again. We really now good shots for in the, the back yeah. of blue. Oh, castle. No castle. castle again. Did it die? No, he was uh, deleting it all the time, right? Until he had the villagers in the right position. I don't know. No, it. He deleted it again. I... He always deletes it when the shots mm. are coming in. <laughs> I looked at the stone card this time. <laughs> now more shots are... Come on, shoot it once! And no, now he lost it. stone. Yeah, he's deleting it all the time. What is this play? Uh... <laughs> I guess it's catching shots with the castle and deleting them, and so they have it, it's their offense they don't shoot at the other units? It's all the fate. Yeah, and now it's looking too, too rough here for Lily. Last castle going down, just water. Big issue for him here. And Nili calls it doing hit and run with the castle. Yeah, Ted. Um, we're really showing us some really nice tricks here, right? That one onager taking out five Korean so That castle taunting delete trick. And uh, really strong water play in the back by uh, the Grand Amigo. Mm. Our predictions were a bit off. <laughs> but Bru also played way different than in the, the opening match. Bru played really strong and also the maps and matchups were favorable for him here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, please sell it, clip Nilly. Clip Nilly. And you just have to say the same Civ map sex against Swiss V and play even a bit better, and then I look better as well. <laughs> and you also played really well. Okay. It's a bit similar to Brew here compared to his opening match. Brew tried to get up 300% and uh, felt like Salad did the same yesterday. But yeah, Brew's playing like this. He can once again go far. Yeah. Not, we, we underestimated him a bit because he wasn't. Yeah, and I really like how he drafted and how he adapted to um, the maps. Like he all like all the time he had a really great starts for the map and for the starting unit and for the stiff matchup. That's something that, that was missing from a few guys. Like Andy didn't adapt as well, I think, with his drafts and his starts. Uh, I also don't think I'm great at that right now. And Drew, pretty much all the time, the perfect start. Yeah, the archery range start also with the Sepulchre, right? It's so smart. Yeah. Uh, Regnirak is asking, what could you do better in this game as Bohemians? I just watched the end, but it felt like it wasn't much nearly could do. I think... Earlier wood economy. Not as much uh, wagons and one push through the middle. And also you need to dock only on one side when you can cr cross because you kind of invested on water on both sides and lost yeah. both sides because Bru could fight the f one side first and then the other, other side. If he just docks on the right here or even just back docks and masses there, he can take the game, I think. Um, yeah, and also yeah. doesn't lose all of his farm space in the back. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it was pretty much the points I would have mentioned as well. Yeah, and sell it the same thing. 